Okay, so how do we start? We always start with some quotations and I've decided to stick to one author for these quotations. Following your genuine intellectual curiosity is a better foundation for a career than following whatever is making money right now. Escape competition through authenticity. People spend too much time doing and not enough time thinking about what they should be doing. Be present above all, all else. Watch every thought. Always ask, why am I having this thought? But actually, the gap is the most interesting part, at least for me, of life and of entrepreneurship, because there's something to build to bring the pavement back to the, to the level. And this gap is full of wonders. It's also full of problems and pain and suffering and trouble. And yeah, I, I met Matt in, in Berlin a couple of weeks ago, and he gave a really fantastic speech. And yeah, sometimes there's a line between being authentic and telling the truth on everything and being taken as, as what we're selling. And this thing is, I keep thinking about it. So sometimes you're not worth saying or anything, no, but it kind of looks good or whatever you can call it. Then it's, it's taken as, okay, is this over selling? Is, is this really the truth? And I know it has to head different cultural aspects. At least that's how I, I thought about it, but it, it is then something um, th that I think about from time to time. It's su super interesting that uh, connecting you know, with the, the, the self-perception when we are selling things, the self-perception of being overselling is very, it's very strong. We could start and we could, um, yeah, we could have a couple of hours on that, but let's, uh, yeah, let's continue. We were discussing the currency of your creativity versus the currency that pays for the mortgage or your rent. And in it. The salient point was, well, perhaps you could be an Uber driver or have a side gig that brings in the money to allow yourself time, another part of your day or week to do this thing that you love. And that drove me to, to go, oh, okay, well, maybe I do want to help out at the gym on reception whilst I pursue my career as a coach. And so I didn't do much time there at all. Because I could see, you know, what's going on at a poorly run place. And yeah, I picked up a coaching car just by, just by being curious about the other people, the, the leaders in the, in the place, curious about them as individuals and, and pointing out, you know, what a challenge that, that they've got on their hand. Just a few things, just a few, few things. So. Yeah, enormously uh, beneficial call a couple of months ago. Led to some really great actions and outcomes. I find it hard to be succinct. Oh. People usually, they talk a lot about like features and tech and everything, yeah. but they hardly speak any uh, about the value proposition, like what's in it for me and everything, like from customer perspective, but it's like a typical tech founder's problem. I see. I would rather not do the call rather than get a no, right? This is, this is the psychological thing, mm -hmm. you know, and we were, we were just talking about this actually a few, few hours ago with Ray is that no, instead it's great because then you know that that's not your customer for her. It was a game changer. She never felt more fucking powerful. I felt like I could take on over the world after our call. I felt like it was my narrative again. It was so good. I felt like a new woman. It was amazing. But actually our conversations continued when we would go somewhere. And if possible, if we were going somewhere, we would take my 1972 Alfa Romeo. And so we would be not just transferring from one place to the other, but actually having an experience while moving to another place. For business owners, this place is a must. 
Thank you, Matteo, for your generosity and your ability to make people feel like home. The most beautiful feedback that I got from this was that a few people started talking to me about things that I didn't say. So that I was giving them some food for thought and they already between seeing the talk and, and grabbing a beer together uh, at the end of the day, they already had elaborated and, and had some, some breakthrough of their own. Make, make it learn fast, being able to go into some time, like I don't want to not confidential topic, but like being comfortable in asking questions that, you know, make people trust you to ask questions that really get into the details of things. Mm -hmm. uh, What's in it for the people that are jumping on a call with you? What's in it for them? People will know if you're authentically excited to talk to them or not. This, they will, they will just latch on to that. Are you interviewing the person or are you interviewing the problem? The script is sort of, it's guiding you, it's shaping you, it's giving you structure, but probably the only way of doing it is completely dropping the script instead of having a script create like, I don't know, two or three principles for yourself that need to be always true when you are in that discovery situation. The only thing that you need to, that you really need to do, and this applies to every communication situation. So we're talking about every possible is to be present in that situation. The gold is in there. Yeah. Yeah. So if you give yourself permission to say, oh, I'm going to be totally inefficient. I think the recording thing to be present, definitely. In, in an ideal world, where would I want to take it next? What would I want to hear next? In an ideal... For example, I was really good at better relationship with older clients. I mean, all the age to hear with school and so on. And they are very challenging at times. But somehow, I don't know why, it, it, it clicks immediately. Yes. And not, not usual, yeah. not always, which is fascinating them. So, for me, it's, it has been easier to talk to other people. And men, older men. Yeah. If, they, if they kind of, I think it could be a kind of strategic position in bigger. Lately, some clients called, called me to, to mend mistakes or things that were, were not uh, working. Okay. Miss the wolf and with the wolf. Here you're giving us the gold. Yeah, I, I love that observation where you picked up on the positive and then expanded on that. Nice to done. But now I also wrote out of my YouTube no. file, Risolvo Merdoni, how can I translate? Oh, wow. I, I, uh, I fix giant poops. <laughs> and this is working. This is working. It's a position, a new position. It really looks like you should be a leader of one of those where not only you highlight the fail, but you would highlight the fix. And, and there is sort of a before and after. I'm thinking about exploring because yeah. uh, in a way you're a copywriter looking for her voice, which is very interesting. Once you find it, and once you trust yourself, you're going to be unstoppable because you've got the tools. Be open. But I, I think that I still may have something more. Sorry? My logo, in my logo, I'm a rich. Can you imagine 30 years ago presenting your steps? But 
I didn't read my I've got ahead. a story. It took me about three minutes to describe it, but I think it might help you think, change how people perceive you. So the boy walks over to the horse and the horse walks away, moves away from him. Walk towards the horse, but the whole time, just think about how nice your hair is. So he did that. He walked towards the horse. And he said, yeah, I've got nice hair, nice hair. And the horse stood still. And so what, I'm, what I've had lots of success with, I use this technique. And when I go in to meet someone or an interview, I just think about past experiences where people have said, oh, Sammy, you saved my business. Oh, Sam, you're so great. We're just pushing out this broadcast about ourselves. Let me rest in you. Okay. Tomorrow. What is the marketing strategy of a tired person? What is the minimum effort strategy for you? Nurturing that direct relationship. You do it professionally. We all struggle with that. You need authenticity and you need trust in yourself. The only way I know to get to your own self-confidence is to go through this discomfort. She feels like a fraud. And it's all the way to, to the stars. What I wanted to say was, as an artist, a person can be a very celebrated artist, but they draw like a child. It's subjective, isn't it? You just need audacity. Just the audacity. They, they, other people might say, well, I could do that. But they didn't, did they? And I think perhaps as a copywriter, just want to break through your messaging and get the ideal client. Just have audacity. So with audacity. What I wanted to 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 highlight, you know, before to introduce myself, there was a line, and then I said, no, no, that's much more interesting. It is senza stronzo non c'è storia. Without an asshole, there is no story. The most important part of the mountain is the dip. When I start learning about something, at the beginning, there is this, how hard can it be? The only way to avoid this work is to literally go work inside somebody else's dream. And therefore, go work for another, for, for a company. Can I add something real quick? I just remembered that a saying by Robert De Niro, um, it was a show and he was saying that, you know, j just wait it out. Times shall pass. If you have bad times, they shall pass. If you have good times, they shall pass. Just wait it out. Your problem is your solution. I would love actually to continue, but I have to go with those ready. Trusting a lovely and and everything positive. So thanks to all of you for a good time. I would be saying goodbye yeah. as well. Another gem of a call. So thank you for inviting me and allowing me to pitch in with my thoughts. And I hope to see everyone again. First, first Tuesday of July. My God. Put it oh, in, your, in your calendars. Thanks again. Take care.